Well, it's a glorious, crisp October morning, and uh, we are, we, I say we, it's me and OG Bear, I suppose, is the we, um, are leaving a place called Margot, which is 25 kilometres away from Bordeaux, and uh, just under 20 away from uh, uh, Medoc, Le Plan Medoc, Le Plan Medoc. And uh, Margot, world famous for its vineyards. It's got one of the highest uh, concentration of uh, chateaus in, uh, in France. And uh, they carve places where you can stock up on your wine. And, and pretty much where other towns might have uh, um, a patch of grass or a playground, some rugby posts or something. Not in Margot. Every available bit of land is, is covered with vines so this is somewhere in the middle of the town the post office uh, depot is beyond the other side of this uh, this field but it's it's strange because you can you can smell it really in the air you can smell you walk uh, along the streets when I don't know whether that's just uh, whether it's the time of year and Kind of the scent that's um, being given off just because of the the amount of vines, but I think it is it's coming out of the chateaus. I don't know, um, but you can smell you can smell wine, you can smell wine in here. It's not an unpleasant smell, even at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, world famous for its, uh, its vineyards and for its chateaus. Just. Acre after acre of, uh, of vines. I'll make sure that I'm taking the right road out of here, otherwise I shall I shall be lost in the midst of the vineyards. Not necessarily a good thing. It's, uh, it's quite a crisp morning, but um, a bit warmer than it has been. It's just that time of year when uh, one day it it plummets and then the next day it's a, it's a bit warmer again. It can't quite make up its mind. It's sort of reluctantly creeping its way towards winter, slowly yielding up the the warm days and the bright days for grey and drizzly ones but look at this this is stunning isn't it the sunlight on the on all of these vines these have been harvested already there's no no weight of grapes at the bottom of each of those vines so there we go that's Margot and uh, we are heading I don't know where we're heading we've got to go past the chateau this way. So today we get to Bordeaux. It's kind of a landmark, I suppose. It's the last of the uh, of the big cities that I visit uh, whilst walking through France. Um, it's a couple of reasonable-sized towns after. Uh, of Bordeaux, but that's the last city for sure. Um, the last grand ville. Bonjour. Pardon. Je ne suis pas d'ici. Tu es écossais ou anglais? Marché. Pardon. Bon chance. Don't you? Can't say. Can I say that? Oh no, I shouldn't say that. I won't say that. I won't. I won't make any reference to the fact that that was a blonde driving the car, and I won't suggest at all that it was a daft idea to ask uh, someone with a rucksack and a teddy bear and a walking stick and a map uh, 
where somewhere is in the town because <laughs> it's evident that I ain't from here and I don't know. There we go. On their way to a chateau or something. Okay, onwards. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? I think I got away without without being spotted for that uh, that blonde jibe. <laughs>